All right, guys, welcome to the UK Scare and Crawler video. Um, as you probably gathered from the title, I have figured out how to get the well, how to get some form of simulator for the FPV for quadcopters. Um, running on a radio, so now when you actually fly on the simulator you use. So. For the minute. What? No, it's just me talking. It's just me talking. <laughs> Trying to do videos with the wife in the room is not good, is it? <laughs> um, yeah, what was I saying? So, yeah, to use, to, to be able to fly on the flight simulator, you use your radio. Now this will work with the Spectrum DX6, it obviously works with the Wokira Devo radios. Um, it works with anything really that's got a trainer port on it. Um, on the back of the radio it will have a little, basically a 3.5mm jack on the old, a 3.5mm headphone jack on the back, which you need to plug in. What's up? Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I have a 3.5mm headphone jack on the back of your radio, uh, which is a trainer port, or a trainer port, should I say. Um, what you do is you'll, with most radios, they should come with a lead uh, that's got a 3.5mm headphone jack on either end, and you plug one end into your radio, and then the other end goes into the microphone socket on your PC. Um, and then you download the program, which I'll show you in a second, which will then convert all the all the inputs you're putting into the radio into a, so a, basically a microphone signal. So I could, yeah, a microphone signal which the computer then picks up, which then the game then picks up and you fly on it. So the whole point of the flight simulator is to basically teach you how to fly a drone or a quadcopter or whatever you want to call it. Uh, to basically teach you how to fly because it doesn't it flies sort of like a plane but then again it also sort of flies like a helicopter as well so it takes a little bit of getting used to now you, there's a couple of different modes you've got you can fly in full stabilized mode which is really easy uh, but if you want to start doing tricks and stuff and backflips and things then ideally you want to be going into rate mode or manual mode to both good it's the same thing basically uh, so to because I'm just making the transition over into acro, which is rate or manual mode, um, I need to, well, I'm trying to learn to fly it on the simulator first, and once I've got the hang of flying it on the simulator, I can then, you know, input that while I go out to the field, and then obviously she'll find it a bit easier. So I'll just flip the camera around, I'm going to get the links up and stuff on the computer to save on time, save any messing about. Uh, once I've done that, I'll then obviously fire camera back up and then you'll run you through how to download or where to download the programs from and then how to install them and set them up. Okay, I'll we'll see you in a minute. Alright, guys, right, so the first thing you need to download is called Smart Pro Pro Plus, which is this up here. <laughs> camera focus back up again. Right, I'll put links to everything in the description box anyway, um, so you can then. Literally, just click on the link and it'll take you through to the things you need. Um, this is the program that converts the microphone, um, what's it called, the microphone input socket on your computer into the input socket for your radio. So, you'll need to download this now when you first click on it. Click on download. When you type this in on Google, this will be the first thing that comes up. So, <laughs> once you've clicked on it, it'll come up like this. Now, it works on the 32 bit versions and it works on the 64 bit versions of your Windows as well. It also works on Mac. Uh, what you'll need to do is obviously click this here, which will then download it onto your computer, then you install this. Now, if you're running Windows 10, if you're running Windows 7 and Windows 8, uh, it'll install fine. Uh, if you're running Windows 10, you also need to download this here, which is called the VJoy Virtual jo Joystick Drive uh, Device Drivers. So you need to download this and install both of these onto your computer. Um, <coughs> once you've installed these, 
it'll then look like it should come up with a little thing that looks like that. Let me just see if I can zoom you in a little bit so you can see. Right, find some focus. There we go. So you should have an icon that looks like that. <laughs> if you double click on that, load that up, it'll then come up with this screen. Let me zoom you back out again. So it'll come up with this screen. Now, once it's come up with this screen, plug your radio in and we'll plug your radio into your trainer port and plug that or plug the cable into your trainer port sorry then plug the cable into the microphone input socket on your on your pc and it'll come up with this it'll come up like this once it's come up like this if you click on where it says there transmitter at the top then it gives you all your levels for each one of your channels so you should have there's your throttle channel going at the fact see if you can put that in there if you can see it. Right, well, that is my radio, unfortunately the lighting's awful. But obviously you push that up, if you can see it's going up there. Push your yaw across, that works. You pitch and you roll. Now, if you find that it's not working, then you need to change these at the top. So just click it. If you select auto, it should automatically sort itself out, and then all of these will start working. Your channel five and your channel six will work, and all of that lot. If it doesn't, then you can pick from these, or you can pick from these, depending on how you've got it wired in. Um, but as soon as you've got, as soon as you've got it, so all of these are working at the same time. When you push the stick in, that's your radio setup done. So then. And you also you need to leave this minimised whenever you're playing the game as well if you exit it it won't work so click minimise on that and then you need to go back onto the internet again and you go to <coughs> you go onto google and type in FPV Freerider which is there so if you type that in oh yeah I'm there we go. Type in FPV Freerider into your search bar and it's the top or the middle link that you want. So click on that. So then come up with this screen and then just click on where it says FPV Freerider there. And once you've done that, this will now this is now the game that you'll be downloading. Uh, it's got multiple levels on it, so you've got like a little park and you've got a little wooded area and you know, like a beach type place and a car park and things like that so to set it up to download this you can either purchase it for four dollars 99 cents you can either do that or you can go to the bottom here it's a demo and you can just download the demo and still you can play on it's just that level that you can play on but obviously once you get into it you'll end up buying the game anyway I'm just waiting for a little bit of money to drop into PayPal and then I'll be buying it myself um, so yeah you either click download here which will download the demo or you can click buy now and then it'll obviously download in whichever version you want so you can run it on if you can make that out it's got the Windows logo there it's got the Mac logo there and then it's got the Linux version here as well so you can download, download it for all multiple platforms so once you downloaded that, install that as normal as you as you normally would. You know, obviously click it on your screen and it'll load up and then it'll come up with a file that looks like that. Which will say FPV free rider on it. So if you double click that in there it'll say FPV free FPV free rider demo data and then it says FPV hang on. Let me do that. And then it says FPV free rider demo. So double click this, and it'll then load into the game. So you can get that focused up a bit better. And then that's what the game looks like. Ooh. So <coughs> to first start playing the game, you'll need to go over here and go into input controls right and you change that to where it's a USB controller now to change it you can just cycle through them by clicking on it right so it's input USB controller then underneath it says calibrate controller you click on that it'll come up with all these little dots now these dots to calibrate everything 
you just need to do what it says on the screen so as it says there center all sticks but if you watch the dots see the way the dots are moving and then if I flick that and then if I flick that you've got three position switch so obviously you've got your roll you, sorry no hang on you've got your pitch you roll and you throttle and then you rudder so once you've got everything all set up and all these lines are all sitting where they need to be so they're all centered click ok oh, no, cancel that and then you can literally just or oh, another thing I noticed over here as well where it says throttle zero at bottom when you first install it it says throttle zero at centre so the centre of your stick or when your stick's in the middle is when you throttle at zero you don't want that you want it so it's at the bottom so you click that and then once you've done that you can then just fire the game up you click on whichever level you want if you've downloaded the full game or if you haven't then you can literally just click on the first one and then Obviously you can go for a little bit of a fly and teach yourself to fly in acro mode. Now you can also adjust the rates on this as well so you can have high rates, low rates, uh, you can have full stabilised as well and you can run um, full acro mode which is what I'm currently flying in as you can see. So it's just it's basically just to teach you, you know, how to fly quadcopter in full acro mode and once you've learned how to do that you can go out to the field obviously and have a little uh, and a bit crash then <laughs> um, but yeah you can obviously just go out and put what you've practiced on the computer into practice in real life uh, it's got you've got on the each one of the levels it's also got air gates for you to fly through so you can learn to fly through them and Obviously that will get you set up for racing and things as well then. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm only after learning how to just do the freestyle stuff, which is why I keep doing all kinds of mad crazy flips and crashing like that. <laughs> but you know, it'll teach you. It's a bit hard to fly this, to be honest with you, when you're talking as well on the camera. Um, but yeah, it'll teach you to fly. It'll teach you to fly a lot better. And plus as well, when the weather's the way it is at the minute, where obviously it's really rain, it's raining all the time and it's really windy and you can't really go out flying then it gives you a chance to get a, still get a bit of practice in on the computer and still learning all things do a lot of those things you know, on the immersion one the immersion one is better to be honest with you it's got you can adjust like the weight of your quad and put different batteries on it and choose your motors and choose your props with it. and you can't do none of that on this one but the immersion one obviously costs a bit more as well the immersion one's 15 quid um, and you've got to download a program called Steam as well to download for you to be able to play. No layers in this, it's just a straight one download and you don't need any background programs running to so you can do it. That way very clever. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway guys and I hope this helps you out and keeps you flying throughout the winter. So yeah, if you need any help or anything or you're getting struggling in setting it up or anything like that then just message me on um, Google Plus or even leave a comment in the description in the comments section down there and I'll quite happily help you out as much as I can. So cheers guys, don't forget, subscribe, like and leave a comment. Cheers guys, bye.